Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the design link feature inside the Cadence PCB tools. So what is the design link? It enables you to, to link two designs together. Um, so you can either do some signal integrity on them. So if you want to do a signal analysis or um, look at a specific net that connects between two boards, or it also allows you to specifically look at the constraints as well. So if you imagine maybe you've got a, a, a dim module, let's have a look at a 3D view just to give you a, a general idea. So I've got a kind of a motherboard here I've just put a couple of step components on it, so I've got um, I've got my dim connector into the board here, and then this board here, this is the dim module. This has been plugged into the connector, and you imagine we want to effectively look at the constraints that effectively coming from all of the devices here onto the devices on this main motherboard, and we want a way to kind of to look at this. So what we can do is if we look under the analyze menu. So analyze model browser, and then this allows us to effectively, we can add something called a design link. Um, so the design link, I'm just gonna call it one dim. We'll click okay. That then effectively comes as a, as a list in my model browser, and I can then effectively go and edit this model browser or this design link. So here we can, we can add models, we can add files. So I'm just gonna do an add. I'm gonna pick the board that I've currently got open. So this is this board here. Um, I'm just gonna call this uh, M board for the motherboard click OK. I'm then going to add another file. Um, we'll go to the DIM module, uh, DDR2 module, and this one's going to be called the DIM. Click OK. So that gives me effectively my two links, and then I want to make a connection between these two. So we'll add a connection called DIM1. Um, and the length of this is going to be zero because it's a, a, a plug-in connector. You can add cable lengths here if you've got a cable model, etc. Um, they then want to connect by component, so I actually want to specifically join the motherboard with the DIM board, uh, the DIM module. So we'll do a connect by component, so effectively from my motherboard, and I can pick the specific component. And in this example, it's going to be XU2. And then for my uh, my DIM module, I'm going to pick effectively J1. Click OK, and then that makes the connections. So if we actually shoot, look at the, the text edit, we can actually look at the pin maps. You can see effectively I've joined pin 1 to pin 1, pin 2 to pin 2 all the way down to, to pin 240 to 240 from that specific module. So that effectively makes my uh, my configuration, my, my mind, so I can then close this off. If we then go to analyze and initialize, we'll select effectively the one dim connector and click OK. This then makes the link between the two. So if we look at constraint manager, so set up constraints, uh, constraint manager, um, we look at our electrical constraints, propagation delay, for example. You'll now notice, effectively, I get my motherboard constraints. So this is the motherboard. These are the DIM constraints, so the specific connections in the DIM. And then the one DIM is, effectively, the connections that join between, um, effectively, the, the motherboard and the DIM module. So I can then start looking at maybe setting some propagation delays, looking at that type of functionality. Um, I can also maybe, uh, let's just take one of these nets. Let's go to Signal Explorer. Uh, we'll take it with a, uh, an Allegro PCB designer license. And when this opens up, effectively I've got the start, so I'm going from U7 through some transition lines and some wires all the way through. Coming down here, there's my connector. So this is the connector between the two boards and then the one dim and then I go into J1. So this is effectively the, the connector connection between J1 and XU2 and then it then carries on and goes through to, to U1 on my, um, on my DIN connector.